Three, two, one, boom. Thank you. Thanks for doing this, man. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Very good to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. And thanks for not lighting this place on fire. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you a, a proponent of the multi-universes theory? Do you believe that there are many, many universes and that even if this one fades out, that there's other ones that are starting fresh right now and there's an infinite number of them and they're just constantly in this never-ending cycle of birth and death? I think most likely, this is just about probability, there are many, many simulations. These simulations are, we might as well call them reality or you could call them the multiverse. These simulations you believe are created? Like someone has manufactured? They're running on the substrate. So... That substrate is probably boring. Boring? Mm -hmm. How so? Well, when we create a simulation, like a game or a movie, it's the distillation of what's interesting about life. You know, like it, it takes... It could take a year to shoot an action movie. And then that's all distilled down into two or three hours. So let me tell you, if you see an action movie being filmed, it's friggin' it's boring. Super boring. It takes there's like lots of takes, there's everything's in a green screen. Looks pretty goofy. Doesn't look cool. But once you add the CGI it's, and have great editing, it's amazing. So I think most likely if we're a simulation, it's really boring outside the simulation. Because why would you make a simulation that's boring? It makes a simulation way more interesting than the base reality. Th that is if this right now is a simulation. Yes. And ultimately, inevitably, we're, if, as long as we don't die or get hit by a meteor, we're going to create some sort of simulation if we continue on the same technological path we're on, we're on right now. Yes. But we might not be there yet. So it might not be a simulation here. But it most likely is, you feel, other places. <laughs> this notion of place or where is, mm. is a... Flawed? Yes. When you're in that, in that, in that virtual reality, which is only going to get better, where are you? Where are you really? Right. You aren't anywhere. Well, where is... You're in the computer. What, what, you know, what defines where you are? Is exactly. It, right. It's your perception. Is it per your perceptions or is it, you know, a scale that we have under your butt? You're what right you here. Mean? I've measured you. You're the same weight as you were when you left. Like, but you, meanwhile, your experience why is Why do you think different. you're where you are right now? You might not be. I'll spark up a joint if you keep talking. <laughs> your manager's going to come in here. We might have to lock the door. Right now, you think you're in a studio in L.A. That's what I heard. You might be in a computer. Oh, listen, man. I think about this all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's unquestionable that one day that'll be the case, as long as we keep going, as long as nothing interrupts us, and if we start from scratch, and, you know, we're single-celled organisms all over again, and then millions and millions of years later, we become the next thing that is us, with creativity and the ability to change its environment, it's going to keep monkeying with things until it figures out a way to change reality, to change, I mean, to, you know, almost like punch a hole through what is this thing into what what it wants it to be and create new things and then those new things will intersect with other people's new things and then it'll be this ultimate pathway of infinite ideas and expression all through technology yeah and then we're wonder we're gonna wonder like why are we here what are we doing Let's find out. <laughs> well, I, th I, th I mean, I think we should take the actions, the set of actions that are most likely to make the future better. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And then reevaluate those actions to make sure they're, they're, that it's true. There was a video that you tweeted about one of those Boston Dynamic robots. And yeah. you're like, in the future, it'll be moving so fast you can't see it without a strobe light. Yeah probably do that right now. 
Are you honestly, legitimately concerned about this? Are you, is like AI one of your main worries in regards to the future? Now I don't do drugs, chronic ain't a cure, all they say you could get hooked on 